Everybody to Anderson's TV. Welcome. I hope you enjoyed that little Eric Clapton woman tone inspired intro. Yeah, not too. Um, yes. Not too. Uh, and the reason we did that is because the wonderful people at Acclam have uh, done a pedal called the woman tone. Yes. Funnily enough. Yeah. I was wondering what this little, there's a... It's like a tarot card of woman time. Yeah, but I, I like, you know, you can see nipples on here, so if anybody gets uh, offended with that, then, well, whatever. Well, we've but all got nipples. But what's this little lo lobster doing down there? He wants to have a bit of, a, he wants to say hello. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so the, the guys at Acclam have got a small range of pedals, and they're all about kind of capturing... Uh, a classic guitar tone. So yeah, they're over my shoulder there. Uh, there's a video up there, but the, the, they've got the pedal that does like a Pete Townsend thing called the windmill. windmill. They've got a uh, cinnamon drive, which I'm, I'm not super familiar with the, the song, but it's like a Neil Young reference, I think. Yeah, cinnamon and, girl. Um, and the- Dr. Roberts. Yeah, Dr. Roberts is the big Dr. selling Robert. one. That was the, the, the sort of a quite a niche um, Beatles tone that they got yeah. A, 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 yeah. during on one of the albums. Anyway, super pedal. I guess the woman tone is probably not only going to be the best known of all of the tones that Acclam have done, but it's, yeah. it's probably one of the most famous guitar tones. We of talk all about time. it a lot, actually. We, you, we always talk, and then I think yeah. people have comments and going, what is, the, what yeah. is that you're talking about? What was a woman? Who, which woman? Yeah. So during the, the sort of the, the cream era, uh, Eric Clapton uh, was using big 100 watt Marshalls and his SG with all the groovy graphics over it, but you know, I think they call that the Fool. And he had this tone that was neck pickup, uh, tone all the way back, which isn't really a, um, it's not, not the sort of n normal place you, you no. think you might be for like a rhythm guitar tone. No. I mean, like, and, let me just go again. Yes, I was gonna say, and, and then that became known as the woman tone. And, and if you see him being interviewed, there's a lovely bit of dialogue with him and a journalist. Yes. Maybe we'll watch a bit of it now. Yeah. Another characteristic of your particular playing is a kind of whining noise usually described as woman tone. Yeah, let me turn this thing off. Can you tell us what that is? The woman tone is produced by using either the bass pickup or, or the, the lead pickup, but with all the bass off. And in fact, if you use both pickups, you should take all the bass off on the tone control. That is to put, to turn it down to, to, to one or O, oh, you know, on the, tr on, the tone, on the tone control. And then turn the volume full up. You know, and it sounds, it's supposed to sound like this. The kind of blues I play is, uh, I started playing, was, was one of accompaniment, you know, of, of lead accompaniment. So that is quite difficult, you know. There, there are thing, basic things that you'd have to learn about that style itself, which is uh, the finger vibrato that you have to use, which is like that, you know. Which is very important. Could you just do that again? Yeah. You see, that, that itself is, is, is um, very difficult, can take you a long, long time to play and get that perfected. But in that clip, I, I love how the interviewer is asking like oh, what are you what is that and eric clapson's talking quite like yeah i have this like 
it's this and it's amazing and it's a bit magical and almost like nowadays you just sit there going we're so lucky with pedals and amps and guitars yeah, yeah. and just knowledge generally about it's, guitar tones so that's a good interview there's like the into has no idea it's like he's they've, that he's they found a new mm. animal in the jungle or even Eric Clapton's going first yeah time, and like, like if I play soft it does one yeah. thing and if, it's it, very posh in that video I just <laughs> I, I I love and I, I think again we we, we um unless of course you were you know alive and playing guitar during that time which you know I wasn't and Pete wasn't and I'm sure most of you weren't you just can't get your head around what that mid to late 60s era of guitar and just how revolutionary the whole you know Hendrix and Clapton and all those kind of guys can were. you imagine yeah, the first Marshall. time plugging in a, a, an SG into a, a, a yeah. master it must just have been whoa yeah, just mind-blowing and yeah. so stuff we take for granted now you just have to yeah, say yeah. Oh, wow. so yes let's have a little listen to woman tone it, this is gonna and then we'll have a little listen yeah. to the pedal I mean firstly on the back pickup with mm -hmm. everything up it's gonna sound like it's that kind of which I think most people associate with that's the, what with, if with, I was playing yeah. this amplifier with that yeah. guitar that's what you would I'd associate go back with. pick up yeah. tone and all just, the way up and just and just yeah. go that yeah. but he did all the way up tone off master up and then he went It's such a it's such a distinctive sound and and uh, yeah you know, it made, well, it's gonna make noise you know yeah. but we, it is just, that so I, I'm anyway. only saying obviously we've got the JTM 45 into the Ox yeah uh, which I know is I mean strictly speaking Clapton would have had hundred watt Marshalls and flat out and no attenuation no. but uh, we didn't want to die the only Oxy so, uh, uh, <laughs> he would have is the one he had in this <laughs> yes, on his true. plate <laughs> probably or in his but, Oxo but that's too. the sound right and then I it's think a beautiful sound as you go through guitar playing time you know other players would have would have kind of used that type of tone i'm thinking you know carlos santana and yeah that's lenny, true. lenny kravitz used it to good effect oh, yeah, and yeah, that yeah. Sort of American yeah yeah woman yeah yeah like, uh, yeah you know there's a so, lot there's lots of that um i have to turn it off every yeah. time because it's so noisy but, but not everybody has a Gibson SG or a Gibson, it doesn't have to be an SG, but it kind of does need to be yeah. like a double humbucker, the humbucker uh, Les Paul with the Les Paul sort of layout of controls. Yeah. Uh, you haven't got one of those and you might not have a Marshall head and a 4x12 or the an don't like this, for that uh, matter. Maybe you've got a, a, a sort of a modest, more modest little clean amplifier and a Strat or a Tele or something mm -hmm. like that. And that's kind of where the guys at Clam have kind of gone for with the sound. So the woman tone is, as we've is this and i suppose in fairness of all the tones they've tried to go for on their pedal so far it's probably the it, most known isn't it it's the it one that a, we go yeah oh, what yeah. would be the next one but that's the thing is the um, ray tone or the way one or Vaughan or i don't know what could it be what could be the next big tone that everybody wants to get is it the done it hasn't been done yet it hasn't though. been they, yeah what would the next for anyway that you can put that in the comments below anyway. before we go can you just show inside here that there is a little switch and we just make sure yes that it's on the on the right yeah. position so there before obviously we keep going. <laughs> the pedal does come with a back. We've just taken yeah, it off because there is an internal switch. But yeah, yeah. Uh, and that allows us to access a, a darkness yeah. tone. Just but at the sure. moment we're in its normal mode. Yeah, yes. I want to make so. sure set to Now there's two sides to this. Engage the woman. If I just turn this switch on, it just gives me my big martial sound, but I haven't gone woman tone yet, so. I like it. But as you can hear, we've still got all the top end. In fact, again, if I go bridge pick, that is actually a good time. <laughs> that's an fact, amazing sound. That's a great tone. <laughs> a I'm almost good. sold. Anyway, wow. but woman tone is about being a darker tone on the neck pickup. And the woman tone circuit here, which is I access with this one, I don't think it works independently, does it? No, it no. doesn't do what, anything what, what on its own. What would that be? I suppose. So the woman tone is essentially that neck pickup tone control on your double humbucker guitar. Yeah, yeah. The more you turn it up, the more it's like having the tone control up. The yeah. more you turn it down, the more you it roll it off. Like. Yeah. 
Like you could see. Except well, yeah. there's extra magic in here because the this also now includes a circuit that's trying to make my uh, single coil pickup sound like a humbucking pickup. So humbucking. Um, right. Woman. Oh. Oh. Now again, if I turn it all the way up, you'll. Just, it's like so turning the. Yeah, you're, anyway. you're playing too much, much doom with that with that chord. It's too much doom. The G with the C of the G. It's too doomy. It's, it's not somewhere. The, the right <laughs> tone is somewhere in the middle. It's not all the way off. I think it, I think it all, is. I think it's here. <laughs> Play the riff. We don't need to jam anymore. Anyway, 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 anyway. Wow. yeah, absolutely. You're pretty sick to death of that tune now, and we've probably been <laughs> copyright striked as well. <laughs> Flipping this pedal over, flip it, like Pete showed a minute ago. There yeah. is, they've obviously got a sense that some guitars, some amplifiers might need to go darker still. Yeah. So they've put this circuit in called uh, Darker Woman Tone. Yeah. And I, when well, we uh, were fiddling around with this earlier, I don't think either of us could decide where was the closest. Now it's a it's a tiny tiny little switch yeah, here, using so we're using a little nail to. Screw so here. if I play whilst Pete does the. If you just play the the, the okay. bop bop bop. Okay, so now that's on, Hang okay. on, and then you play it off. I can hear what it is, it gives, it's more of the low end, there's more of the low end, it yeah. doesn't take any high end away. Oops. You don't think so? No, I was about I to say the exact opposite. I think it just gives you more, a bit more. Can you just do it as I'm doing that A chord? See if you're on, on, let me just let's not say a cheap guitar. Right. Now it's off now. Okay, and now it's 
Oh, it's marginal, isn't it? It gives you that flappy low end. It gives you more of that. Yeah. Does that make sense? So I now the other thing that I've got in this guitar here is um, some of you may recognise. This is my Strat American Standard Strat that I put the TBX circuit in. Yeah. And I love this. I want to sort of get a vibe as to like. Where am I, I can hear with you regards in the to sort of trying to get... I can hear you talking in the pickups, it's excellent. So let's just... Uh... Can I just say, no, it doesn't actually... there's not as much gain on it. If you listen to the original Sunshine of Your Love, now we keep t referring to that yeah. song for a reason, but the first, the first bit, like we played in the beginning, the first bit is like... There's not much gain in it. I would I, say there's too much gain in this. I think he's doing that though, by going... Um... Oh, you know, it's... They're playing think, it softer. I think he's playing it soft. But, I think, I think it, this is the thing. I think every guitar player thinks they listen to an album and they hear much more gain than they actually mm. need. I think we need to do a video on gain at some point because I think when you do a video, so you record anything, we need a good gain, yeah. turn it down, turn it up to where you think it should be and then take a quarter of it off. A quarter? All the time. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? I would say that... I think you're very right with too class, much gain all over rock the place. Tones. I'm not so sure clean. with modern stuff. I mean, we need a more of a like a Rebeer style expert for that. But I would agree with you that no, even then, classic rock is not as much gain as as you think. I don't it is. think there's as much gain as much as things you think there are and things you go. That's like anyway, whatever. Well, look, we are digressing. So here. we are digressing. I mean, they sound very similar. This sounds more old and broken. I, I still, you know. I still think that. Yeah, I still think that sounds. More authentic. Maybe, maybe it's the psychosomatic. Psycho, yeah, the fact that I can see it's an SG into a Marshall. Yeah, uh, but we don't know how it's going to sound when we recorded it. But you know. it's pretty. It's I think that's that, a great pedal. It's got that. I'm about to explode. I tell you what, I do think you've heard two different guitar players essentially playing the same riffs, and it's never, you know, that that there'll be a certain element of that's why. Okay, so on the neck pickup, all the way up. I mean, that sounds great, man. I mean, when you when you I'm, play I'm, that, I'm, I'm you play out. that seven there. I think this is enough for you. You're I think right. people just need to go on the links below and buy one of these pedals if you want that woman tone, but you don't want to buy an SG or a yeah. Stan or... It's a good a, pedal. Or, or, I like, I like the great. artwork on it as well. It's very, great. They do cool. some good stuff and they're good guys and they make great stuff. And last time they had one of the guys sat in, in a, a bathtub of beans. I can't remember what it was. It was, a, it was a there or something. Well, and hopefully I want to be, I want to be the lobster. So Let can I just say that? I want to be the lobster. That's it. That's that's, um, that's all I'm going to say. It's a cheeky looking lady there, isn't it? And you it? get right. some nice uh, little, you get the Veltro to go on it, underneath, the fits underneath. If you want to use that, if you don't have the pedal boards, I think that's a nice little extra touch. So, there we uh, are. And here, uh, a, how wizard, much a wizard's, oh, see, a wizard's I think, hat. I don't think it's it's cheap. I think it's no, 2 dollars I think you're right. I think it's two ninety nine. Yeah. So, yes, Links below, um, just check it. obviously... Uh, at the sort of upper end of yes, the pedal but price. Do, do you want to play seven grand for one of That's these? True. And, and you That's know, true. however much a hundred bucks. I thought it sounded good. I, thought I it think it sounds good. great, man. Yeah.
Yeah, we need to go home now. We so, do. Uh, please like and subscribe. Yes, congratulations, at Clam. Good yeah. luck with that. Uh, thank they you very much for well. watching. In stock. They are in yeah. stock. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as is this, 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 but not this. No. Okay. This is. This is true. Yeah. All right. Actually, I tell it like the TBX circuit in there is in stock. The guitar itself is old. Oh, sorry. I was. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Anyway. Au revoir. I was talking about me being wow. in stock.